This weekend update will be a series on how I designed and built the Main Central Lower Road. I've had this question at numerous times and I think I'll just go through videos and explain. So the next thing we'll talk about is the Gibbons and Druthers that I used to design this railroad. First are Gibbons. The railroad would be the main central. I wanted there to be distance between the places served. I wanted there to be plenty of switching. I wanted the railroad to be true to main central practices. I wanted the track layouts and scenes to be recognizable. Druthers. Staging would have to be hidden. The layout would require a helix for double deck. Would I have time to finish the layout? In the end, I think I got most of my Gibbons, and I did manage to take the Druthers and make them at least workable for what I wanted. And we'll talk about that more as we go through the design. Most of the traffic for the Main Central came through Portland, Maine, and to the west of there was the line that was called the Mountain Division that went up to uh, St. Johnsburg, Vermont. And to the east of there was most of the rest of the main central system. The first subject I thought about was doing the mountain division. The mountain division runs from Portland, Maine to St. Johnsbury, Vermont with a branch line of Beecher Falls. Although very scenic and often photographed in, there's only a train one way in each direction between Portland and St. Johnsbury and the Beecher's Fall branch. A local that ran every other day during a time period on model. Another area to consider modeling was the Eastern Division that ran from Bangor to uh, Calais and uh, Woodland and the paper mill at uh, Woodland. It also ran up north and interchanged with the uh, Bangor Rustic and its Canadian Pacific railroads. Uh, a lot of locals out of here. You also had the Sears Port Branch, but uh, again, I chose not to because of the fact that Bangor Yard was a fairly large yard. Another section of Main Central that is very modelable is between Waterville and Bangor. There's uh, three branches that come off here. Uh, Pittsfield and Newport Junction were major junctions that had uh, traffic going through them. You had all of the mainline freights between Bangor and Portland went through here. So a lot of stuff going on. I actually modeled this before in, in my life about 20 years ago, but uh, I chose not to this time. I had considered doing Waterville Yard and doing some sections of the, of the branches coming out of Waterville. But Waterville is a very large yard, and again, I wanted something that you'd be recognizable, and trying to compress Waterville even to the size of the basement I had was going to make that uh, just not what I think I would really have enjoyed. Another section of the Main Central was the Rockland Branch, a very long branch that ran from Rockland, Maine, out to uh, Brunswick and back. Uh, a lot of little sidings and stuff along here, and very scenic. Uh, you've probably seen pictures of Whisk Cassett with the ships in the water and uh, big bridge that goes out of there and all the way down to Rockland itself, which is a uh, eastern Maine fishing town. I chose not to do the Rockland branch more because of, again, low traffic in the time frame I was modeling, not so much the uh, visions and scenes that I could get in my head. The last section we'll look at in the Maine Central was the line between, or the lines between Portland and Waterville. So there was the back road that ran out from Portland, split, and went back behind up to Lewis and Auburn and up to Waterville, and then you had the lower road that split and went to Yarmouth, Freeport, Brunswick, had a branch going off the Lisbon Falls from Brunswick, a branch going to Rockland from Brunswick, and the rest of the line went all the way up through Augusta back to Waterville, and that was known as the lower road. There was a rather large, long branch on here, which was the Rumford branch, but again, this was a, a single local train or two locals, and uh, so it didn't have a lot of traffic potential. So in the end, I chose the lower road, and we'll start going over the uh, reasons why I made that decision and, and the route and what I modeled and what I did not model and why. In the end, I decided to go with the lower road because of track of volumes and the interesting uh, Lewiston lower branch and the fact that I could also have the, lock, the Rockland branch, whether I was able to model all of it or not. Uh, and it was double deck with a third level underneath the lower level with staging and... Uh, Next video, we will talk about how I designed it, what I use for references, why I hand draw all my plans, because that's the way I prefer to do it rather than the CAD programs. And uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if this is interesting to you as I continue on in these uh, planning videos.